Welcome to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Good morning, everyone. I'm Owen Hayes. You're watching Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented to you by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. And you better head over there. There is a lot of things that you're going to need to make sure you're good to go, because in a week from now, hunting season is in full swing. I was reminded yesterday by a couple of our viewers, I had mentioned that it starts on September 1. Well, yes, there's been some opportunities up to this point. I'm not participating in those. I, I neglected to remember. So not to take anything away from those folks that have been able to get out there and have some fun already. But we'd love to hear from you. It's the viewer hotline for now. The phone number is 503-548-6777. We want to hear from you. We've got a little bit of time in this and the following segment, our upcoming segment, uh, to answer any questions you might have or get a report or two out. So don't be shy. This is the time to get in there. Uh, we do have a busy show. We got a lot of photos that everybody's been sending in. Just like yesterday, we've got 10 photos and a video to show you uh, of folks out there having fun. Uh, so by all means, you can do the same thing. We'll show you how to do that. You can leave them on our Facebook page or, of course, our Fox 12 app. But we're going to have those photos for you. So pay attention if you've been sending them in because uh, you're going to see yourself and you can brag a little bit. Uh, then, of course, we're going to have all of our typical info, uh, fish counts. We're going to include the tenure because it is very interesting. Uh, we typically don't show it every weekend, but it is something to take a look at. Again, uh, if, if you're like me and you like to spend your time up here, uh, well upriver on the Columbia right now, things are, things are looking good and they're sounding good, but we'll find out more. Uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, river levels, of course, not too exciting there, but we're going to at least cover that, give you an idea of what that Columbia is going to be doing, uh, and then a couple of re uh, reminders for you, and we'll find out what this weather is going to do this upcoming week because things are changing. Uh, we're going to warm back up, a look. it looks like, but we'll let Katie uh, get that information out there. Not really looking too forward to that, but at the very least, it's not going to be dumping rain on the 1st of September when you're trying to find doves somewhere. <laughs> Y'all know how that works. Uh, then we have, it's been several weeks, right? You remember us talking about, uh, we were over at the Mill Casino. We had a chance to do a little bit of film in there and just get experience what the Mill Casino was all about. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is at the top of my list. I absolutely love this place. I just wish that we, I could have gotten back there since then, middle of uh, January, or excuse me, July, uh, when we were there. So many different things to do in that uh, Coos Bay area, let alone uh, at the Mill Casino, uh, and today we're going to have a chance to highlight that a little bit uh, and also talk with Mike Laffey. He's the man behind that place. Uh, got us exposed uh, to uh, the Mill Casino and just some of the options and some of the fun uh, that you can have there, and we're certainly uh, excited about having them part of Outdoor GPS right now. I mean, it is absolutely just one of those diamonds in the rough that I just was not exposed to. And hopefully we can get you excited about heading over there and checking it out as well. Also, we're going to talk about the newest product from High and Dry Waiters. My buddies over there at High and Dry have got a brand new product. I had a chance to uh, prototype them, I guess, or R&D them a little bit uh, this past duck season and then all through, geez, since duck season ended, uh, which is not too far away. So many things to look forward to. Uh, but you got to see it ma mainly because you got a small window to take advantage of it. But we'll get there. You'll understand what I'm talking about uh, when we get to that point. Then, if you've been chasing pike minnow, uh, we actually got one of our uh, Facebook fans sent in a photo of a pike minnow that he just recently caught that was tagged, a $500 uh, pike minnow. It was the only one that he's ever caught trying to actually participate uh, in that pike minnow reward program. How awesome is that? You reel one in, it's got a little tag, and it's 500 bucks. Pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to have those numbers for you uh, as well if you've been chasing those things. And again, we always appreciate those folks that are doing it. Now, I rushed through that for a reason. We've got a bunch of phone calls that are coming in. Uh, it looks like, well, let's just go down the, the list if we can. At least try to get one of them in here uh, before this upcoming segment. Is that okay? Let's, let's talk with Porter uh, from Portland. He's got a report uh, from Bowie 10. Uh, Porter, when were you actually out there? Was it uh, today, yesterday? When were you fishing? Uh, I've been down here for two weeks, so we've oh. been hitting it hard for two weeks. Wow, man, you're an iron man. How the heck do you do that? Oh, I've been doing it for a long time, over 50 years. So. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're, you, know, yeah. you, you know what's going on down there. How's it been for you? Uh, we brought fish in every day, and on several days we got our limit. So there's plenty of fish down here. 
How are things as of now? It being Sunday, it's the 25th, another uh, week or so uh, to stay in that area and go after Chinook at the very least. Uh, how's it been up to this point? Uh, really good, and I think it's going to get better. There's more fish coming in. I, I listen to the guides uh, update, Cody Herman and a couple of them. Yeah. They're doing updates every day, day and uh, there's more and more fish coming, so it's been pretty good. The fish are a little bit bigger this year, getting some nice uh, uh, upper river bright, and so it's it's been a good year so far. Have you been able to run across uh, any amount of silvers down there, or is it still a little early for you? Uh, no, the last two or three days, that's what we limited out on silver. So the oh, nice. silvers are coming in. Well, good. We got a lot to look forward to, everyone. Like I keep saying, this is that time of year. How much longer are you down there, Porter, before you're done? I'm actually leaving today. I got to go to work tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> the two week run is over with. You're stocked up with salmon, and it's time to get back to reality. I get it. Porter, thank you for calling and sharing the report. We appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. You too. Thanks again for sharing. We appreciate that, my friend. All right. So I got Rick from Salem. And we've got Richard from Kenmore. We're going to take their calls. I actually have a live report from Richard, so I want to save a little bit of time with that. So let's go ahead and show you those photos that everybody's been sending over, and then we'll show you the best way to send those photos over that we show each and every Saturday and Sunday morning. So we'll start with those, and then we do have a video uh, at the end of this as well. Bailey and Dad, this is out of Winchester Bay. God, don't take that. If you haven't been there, the reports have been fantastic. Uh, there's just a lot of really good op options out there. Devin defeats the Giant. That is a really nice Chinook right there. I don't know if that's the Oregon extended, extended arm or not, but that was a nice one. Uh, gone catching. Uh, Bowie 19. Shh, don't say that too loud. Uh, <laughs> gone catching. I love the photo. Look at the, little, look at the smile on that little girl's face. That's just awesome. Here's another great one. And these are going to continue to come through. We're going to start seeing a lot more uh, hunting photos here, too, here going forward we're all excited about that but we can't forget all these fish that everybody's catching granddad's first or granddaughter's first fish pretty cool um guy white and david Pyle, two great dudes david Pyle, we've only had the chance to, he's so hard to pin down look him up everyone you'll find him on youtube and guy white he is the autopilot master not no question uh about that has saved me on so many different of my boats. Uh, nephews for salmon. Matt, thanks for sending it in. Great photo. Just a dandy. Oh, here we go. A couple of summers. Nolan and Silas, uh, coastal rivers. Uh, yeah. I'm still holding out hopes that I might be able to make it over to the Deschutes. I am absolutely freaking out. The new spinner from uh, Yakima, the uh, rooster tail double blade. I am very interested to see what that's going to cast like. Anyway, not to get sidetracked. <laughs> Olivia's first salmon. Looks like she got a couple of them. Uh, yeah, down there in the Bowie 10 area. Very, very cool. Uncle Dean sent that photo in. And it's easy to do. We'll get there in a bit. Uh, here's another nice one. Nice silver. Uh, from what I understand, and we just got that report from Porter, a lot of silvers in the river. There was a report yesterday of a 15-pound uh, keeper silver. That's a dandy. I don't know where you might be from, but anytime you can break double digits... It's a good one. Uh, thanks to Rods and Reels in Need. There you go. And you know what? I think they extended that sale that we talked about yesterday. We might even rerun that uh, address and everything that we showed yesterday, uh, Ryan. And keep that in mind if I mention that. Uh, but yes, that's exactly what this is all about with Rods and Reels in Need. They help young people, families, everybody, anybody in need uh, that wants to get out on the water and, and just doesn't want to make that huge expense up front or can't. This is just a fantastic organization to help you get out there uh, and have some fun. Here's a quick video. Getting the kids involved. This is from Rob. And yeah, that's big water. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, you got to bring up the young ones behind you. It won't be long. Lana's going to be running my sled, hopefully. Uh, easiest way to do it is that Fox 12 app. Download it. Find Outdoor GPS. And there's a number of reasons why you want to have this app on your phone. But you can also upload those photos and videos. And we will show you off Saturday and Sunday morning. All right, we're going to cut to a break. When we come back, I got a couple of phone calls. So Rick from Salem uh, will be second because I have a live report. I've got Richard from Kenmore uh, with a live report from the Columbia. Then we'll also have the info that you'll need to make a decision going forward. We'll be right back.